everyone, it's Amelie from Template Monster. In this video we will talk about how to create a menu with Elementor Builder. To create a menu using an Elementor you need to click on the Edit with Elementor and then on the menu. On the left sidebar we can see the menu settings, but first of all we need to create a new menu, so we need to click on Menu Screen. Here we click on Create a new menu button. And we can give a name for menu, like new menu, and create, click on create. Using the sidebar, you can choose the structure of the menu and its components. As an example, it is possible to select pages. Let's click on view all and select home, cart, checkout my account and shop page and click add to menu uh, we can add a custom link as well instead of specific page it can be either external link to a page or your link in the url field put a hash and then you're free to write the text in the link field for example it will be To menu. You can also create a sub-menu. The added items need to be moved under the main item using drag and drop. It needs to be slightly aside. For example, I want that cart uh, with the sub-item for a home. So we just put it slightly right. And now it's sub-item for a home. You can also assign block categories in the menu using Categories tab and choose what you want. In the menu settings below, um, we can also click on check mark to add pages automatically or it is also possible to choose the location of the menu in the... it can be in the header or footer. However, we will choose the first option. Then click on Save menu. Next we will get back to the first tab and reload it. Again click on menu and choose the menu we just created. So we can also play the styles a bit. Uh, for example in layout you can set the alignment of your menu also you can change submenu icons and animation as well also you can play with style like change the horizontal padding or vertical padding also, you can change spacing between the items. Uh, there is also power effects like underline, overline, and etc. Uh, also, you can play with typography. There is also some settings for drop down menus. So, once you'll be done with styling, Click on the update and then click on preview changes. Now we can see our new menu on the website. So that's it for today. And if you're looking for high quality elementary templates to enhance your productivity and workflow, consider to go into Template Monster Digital Marketplace. Thanks for watching!